All right, welcome everybody. This is uh, GCM. Uh, I'm going to be going over some uh, video tutorials on 3D Max here, and this is uh, version 2011. Now, um, these uh, video lessons are for my intro to modeling class. Uh, it's a game design program, and um, so basically, we're just going to be covering a lot of uh, hard surface modeling. So it's an intro class, and uh, personally, I just like to teach nothing but modeling straight modeling for their first uh, their first class and like I said hard surface modeling being vehicles weapons uh, or you know hard surface uh, objects like you know furniture scenes set set designs and stuff like that um, otherwise uh, nothing organic no characters no creatures nothing of the sort uh, you know of that matter all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, launch up uh, 3d max here and um, I'll see when this first launches up. And then you have these essential skill movies here. These are good to watch, uh, especially if you're just starting off and you don't know anything about 3D Max. Uh, you know, basically it's basic interface and you know how to create objects. I would advise you guys watch these movies just in case I miss anything. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, close this out. Now the first thing I always do when I'm working with 3D Max is, I'm, you know, I'm pretty old school. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my customized preferences here. And I always put my scenes undo to about 200. I go to my viewport tab and I'm going to go to configure driver right here. I like to have max running at its optimum performance. So I'm going to go ahead to uh, 1024 background texture size and download texture sizes. That's 512, text to lookup linear and linear. And I'm going to go ahead and check this enable anti-alias wires. I just like my wires to be really smooth and that's pretty good for now. And the reason that we do that is so when we start working with reference images it may not play a factor now. I just tend to set it up now or ahead of time. Um, it's when you use uh, background images you know things like bitmaps and stuff you find or reference images you want them to be you, you know you want to be able to see them in the viewport the best quality plus especially if you start laying materials down on your objects. All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and press OK. Next thing I'm going to do is actually, um, I'm going to press OK here. I'll double check. Uh, we can go to choose driver. You want to make sure you're always running at direct 3D driver setup. And, you know, most cases, if I'm just, hypothetically, if you're at home and you're running off uh, maybe like uh, NVIDIA, I forgot what the other drivers were, used to be, um, you should be running at direct 3D. At least back from back in the day, uh, 3D Max was, you know, it was designed to run off Direct 3D. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep that OK. Now it says your display drivers will take effect the next time you start up 3D Max. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and OK here. Before I restart 3D Max, I also do not like this old grayscale or this new version grayscale viewport. That's, I mean, those grid lines are just really loud uh, really prominent so I'm going to go ahead and go to customize customize UI default switcher and I'm going to am light which is kind of the old school look I'm going to hit the set loads it up and of course it says the default settings will take place the next time you start 3D Max so I'm going to go ahead and press OK now from here let's go ahead and um, close this out and then uh, we will restart 3D Max and those settings will take place permanently. Now that's on your home computer. If you're at school, obviously these school computers are going to reboot themselves every time they shut down. So the settings will never be there. So you might want to get used to these settings and remember them. Because obviously, you know, in the labs here, you're going to have to uh, constantly reset those, uh, put those uh, settings back to, you know, whatever you feel comfortable working with. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this now. And I'll see you in a sec. 